Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a quintic equation. We have 5x to the 4th minus 3x to the 5th equals 1. And we're going to be solving for x. Is any quintic solvable? No. But this one is special. Do you know the Fibonacci sequence? This is what I'm talking about. So go ahead and consider these two coefficients because we're going to get to them. So for this problem, consider the equation whose solutions are these. And one of them is, as you know, the golden ratio. Now, if x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0, then x squared equals this, right? So we start with this. x cubed will be x squared times x, which is this times x, which is x squared plus x. But remember, x squared is x plus 1, so it will be 2x plus 1 x to the fourth power is x cubed times x. x cubed is here. Multiply by x. And x squared is x plus 1. You're going to get 3x plus 2. x to the fifth is x to the fourth times x. And as you know, this is x to the fourth multiply by x. Replace x squared with x plus 1, 3x plus 3, 5x plus 3. Great. This one, since we have a quintic, we're going to use this one and this one. Okay? Now, x to the fourth equals 3x plus 2. If you multiply both sides by 5, you get this. x to the fifth is 5x plus 3. By the way, this is for the initial x's we talked about. And it's going to be this one. Now go ahead and subtract these two equations. This one minus this one. You're going to get these two are going to cancel out. You're going to get 1. In other words, here's our conclusion. If x squared equals x plus 1, then 5x to the 4th minus 3x to the 5th equals 1. In other words, roots of the quadratic R, R, I can't write R, R, also roots of the quintic, is the quadratic, and is the quintic, make sense, not vice versa, so, we get this. So this means we found two solutions. Let's rearrange the terms, maybe put everything on the right. It's a nice quintic, right? So two of the solutions are x sub 1 and x sub 2. Are there only two real roots? Remember, this is a quintic. If there are two real roots, there must be three complex, but that's impossible. We know complex roots come in pairs. Let's go ahead and check the graph. But these are two of the solutions. Okay. 
So here's the graph. Uh oh, there seems to be three real solutions. You know why? If you divide this equation by x squared minus x minus 1, you'll find the cubic. And if you solve that cubic, you will find the other real solution, hopefully. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.